I've done the first round of fiberglass repairs. So the hole for the hinge is filled. This crack has been repaired but there's a slightly low spot. This repair has been completed but there's a low spot here so I need to add a couple of more layers and the crack here has been repaired. Now I'm going to tackle uh, this dodgy repair. So I'm going to grind this all down until I hit good fiberglass which I can build to. And then we're going to also uh, repair the crack that goes all the way to the inside. On the inside of the wing you can see some small cracks uh, from the accident I presume that uh, also needs to be repaired and we'll do this uh, at the same time. So the crack along the wing uh, is going through to the inside so we need to repair this and here and then it needs a little bit of reinforcement here and this has been repaired but it doesn't look very nice so we're going to reshape this a little bit. Uh, the rest of the repairs inside here we're going to leave for another time but uh, we're going to treat this entire crack as one repair so that we know that this uh, has been completely fixed. So this is the repair on the wing and the crack goes all the way to the inside and you can see I've already uh, roughed this up and gone to good fiberglass so this crack needs to be repaired and it would also have gone a little bit here but I've already repaired this. Once we're doing this we're going to do the underside of the headlamp pocket from underneath. I've uncovered the ugly repair on the front wing. Now we can clearly see the crack along the wing uh, with all of the holes for the reinforcement plate that I removed. So I've ground back to sound fiberglass. Uh, there are some small repairs that I'll leave for now, but uh, I'll remove them from underneath. And um, I'm going to fill these small holes with uh, a bit of tape just to uh, make sure the fiberglass just doesn't drop in. All of the smaller repairs are completely finished on this side so all the holes have been plugged, all the cracks have been filled and I've done the first couple of layers of fiberglass on this large section. Um, it's quite okay, there are a few low spots in there um, there's one place that I got it gone a little bit through, but I need to reinforce this from underneath. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean this and then I'm going to apply a guide coat and sand it again so I can see the low spots where I need to add a little bit of more fiberglass. Um, the easiest way to do this repair now would be to just cover this with fiberglass filler and sand it um, so it has the correct shape. But I'd like to do this um, only in, in fiberglass matting and resin. And then afterwards, if I need to do some cosmetic stuff, I can use a fiberglass filter. But I don't want the fiberglass filter to be the bulk of the work. So I'm just going to clean this off and then we're going to add the guide coat. I've also added the first couple of layers to this section. So there was a really big crack going all along the front wing to this and to this. So the crack's been repaired. I still need to add a few more layers because there's a dip here and um, I can reinforce this a little bit more. Then I need to build up this edge because um, it's a little bit rounded off. And there's a high spot here which needs to be lowered a bit because if you put the bonnet on um, it uh, can seesaw a little bit on this high spot because it rests on here. So we're going to grind this down and add a few more layers uh, along this side so we can build this edge up and I'm going to reinforce this a bit more. So normally when sanding I'm using a 3M full face mask with uh, organic filters and particle filters. Um, but I'm going to use this, uh, but I'm not going to use this for a couple of minutes on the video so I can explain a little bit what I'm doing. Normally I think I've blocked it uh, okay as it is now, but there are some low spots so I need to sand this again. 
then I can see where the low spots are so I can add some um, markings then add a couple of layers of fiberglass to all the low spots Then once we have a little convex shape going, I'm going to use a long block center. This is a flexible one. Um, I also have a rigid one, but because of uh, the shape of the wing, this isn't straight. This is actually a little bit concave, but it's just dust, so I'm not um, removing the guide coat. Because this isn't completely straight, uh, it's better to use a flexible one. So now you can see all the low spots here, 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 here. So we need to add a little bit more fiberglass on top of those. And then where I poke through is actually flat, so I need to repair this from underneath. But the wing needs to be reinforcing from underneath uh, anyway, so that's not really an issue. So I marked all of the low spots, and the reason to mark these is when I lay new fiberglass on top of these. Afterwards, when it's cured, I can ground it off. And then uh, when I grind it off, I just need to grind off uh, and sand off the line of permanent marker. So then I know I've come back to our uh, base layer, base shape. So I only need to fill in these low spots and I don't need to grind anything off of this. So I layer this up and then I grind it all smooth until uh, all of the lines are exposed again. This is after adding another few layers of fiberglass. I'm hoping that once this is all sanded off that the panel is completely smooth. So it's all really smooth. We have a, a nice transition with the bonnet. Uh, it might need to go a little bit lower here uh, but it's really good actually. Um, it's really smooth and the best thing is there are no pieces of wood, no metal plates, no screws, no rivets in here at all. Uh, I only need to reinforce it from underneath. So you can see that the headlamp pocket has been repaired really roughly. I'm not sure why because the bucket itself has a normal shape. So you can see that the hinge point has been uh, repaired quite roughly. Um, so we'll do that again so it looks a bit better the next thing that I need to do is I need to repair the headlight bucket because it got smashed in and there's a, an old repair uh, underneath and I need to redo the flange so uh, it's nice and straight again so we filled in the holes for the bumpers and for the indicators that were not original which were on the car um, I probably need to add a few more layers on this before it's final. We're also repairing the headlight bucket, which um, was completely cracked, so we're making a new flange on there. And I'm just using a piece of plexiglass as a mold, which I taped to the headlight. Then from inside I can add from some fiberglass to add a new flange. We're also repairing some cracks and it needs filling in to get a nice sharp edge on here. So now we have a nice flange but I still need to fill in the low spots and fill in the holes. So I'm trying to do this uh, with a little bit of fiberglass and maybe a little bit of fiberglass filler. Um, but this side is looking quite good. I've done most of the repairs on this section so there was a crack here which I filled in. This section was completely filler, so I reshaped this with um, the bobbin for mounting uh, the front lid. And I had to remake this section 
and I had to fill in some holes here. So this side is going on quite well. I've also filled in the holes for mounting the front bumper and the indicator. So now we're going to move on to the other side before we can turn our attention to this side. And this is much worse. So there's a repair on top. Uh, there aren't any reinforcement plates in there, but I'm going to redo this anyway. And then we need to redo this front section. We are continuing on with the fiberglass repairs. As you can see, we are filling all of the holes that were in the body that were used for mounting the wing mirrors, getting to the actual door hinge, some random holes, and then we are taking care of one of the bigger repairs. So this was a section that was repaired previously. So again, I removed all of the previous repairs and I've recovered this in fiberglass. These are about three or four layers of 300 gram mat. Then we can shape this again and we can continue moving on to this uh, headlight section, which as you can see has been repaired as well over uh, old paint and it's really rough as you can see there are holes everywhere so we're going to repair this to about here on this line and this section uh, below is really really far gone I finished sanding this repair and it's quite good but it's not perfect yet so it needs a little bit more work um, I'll probably do this repair first and then I can blend um, this section in better because it's a little bit flat here so it needs to be raised a little bit more and uh, it's not as smooth as I'd like so uh, I'll probably do this repair and then I'll blend this and add another layer uh, of fiberglass to make it nice and smooth. So I've been removing all of the bad repairs and most of it you can see I, I can repair quite easily. However, on this side uh, there's a quite a large section where there isn't any original material left. So I can see that this has been completely built out of fiberglass uh, after the repair. So I'm going to use this repair as a base to put new layers on and also the top of this headlight bucket is all new material. I can feel it from the inside. I don't think there's any original material left. So I'm going to just, um, like I've done here, is I've removed a lot of material and it's, it's really thin at some points so I can add new material on top. But I'm going to remove a little bit of this material so I can add some more to make it all one nice uh, new shape like I did on this section. Uh, once I've done all the repairs and I've been able to sand it nice and smooth, I'll add another layer to tie this all back in. Uh, but there is some original material left, as you can see. Um, it does have a lot of cracks and holes, but this shouldn't be too hard to repair. Um, this section where there isn't any original material left needs a little bit of more work, so I'll add some material on there, but I need to grind it all down. And there's a nice big crack here, it runs all the way through. So we'll need to repair all of this. And we need to repair this corner um, where the original material is all gone. So this is one of the hardest repairs I've done so far. So I'm going to remove a little bit more material um, so I can add some new material on the top without changing the shape too much. This is the almost finished product of all the work on this fender. Uh, you've seen me grinding it all down. I start with laying up the fiberglass to get a rough shape back and smoothing it all back. In the end, when we did the fiberglass work, uh, we noticed that there was a low spot here and that uh, this section, which was cracked really badly, uh, didn't have the correct shape anymore because we have to follow the contours of the front all the way here. And then we have a slight upward sweep for the headlight bucket. And this is a completely straight section all the way to the front. 
so we had to have some fiberglass filler just to get the contours back. Uh, we need to do a little bit more repairs on the inside, so it will need a little bit more sanding, but we're 90% uh, there. The headlight bucket will need some repair, but I'll do that from the inside. So we're going to end the video on the front wings here. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions or comments, post them below or send me an email through my website. And I hope I see you next time. Goodbye.